Today, I'm going to be looking at the AGM Glory Pro. At first glance, the specs make it look to me like another rocket phone intended for shop and trace use. But when you see what specific set of features they choose to add, I don't think so. I think it's really set up more for outdoor sports, camping, and search and rescue. Let's unbox it and see if that's true. So here's the pin for the SIM card. Uh, some sticker from AGM. Here's, here's the quality boat. And the adapter and USB charging cable. Okay, let's power it on. Set screen lock for security set pin. And you can also unlock with your fingerprint. The fingerprint is on the back here. Touch the sensor. Okay, fingerprint added. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, seems to me it's running in stock Android 11 and there is no bowware that I can see. It has Google Chrome. Uh, this is the biggest feature, the IR camera. We'll go into that in a minute. Let's go to the AGM mobile website and take a look. Okay, this is the AGM. And the G-series Gauri is there. Let's take a look at the camera. Okay, let's take a look at the video. Let me record. Okay, I'm, I'm filming in the, my workshop with the AGM Gauri Pro. I don't know about the results, so let's uh, take a look at that. Okay. I'm, I'm filming in the, my workshop with the AGM Glory Pro. I don't know about the results, so let's uh, take a look at that. Okay, so in the front, this is the flashlight. It's very bright. And there is a separate light if you go into the camera. On the back, it has the torch. So they're separate. There is one here and the other one here. Okay, the specs is 5G, which a lot of rocket phones still aren't. So that's nice. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 480 processor, which we've spoken about before. Solid mid-range SoC. Basically, it makes current mid-range phones as fast as some flagship phones were two years ago. Either 128 or 256 gigabytes of ROM, eight gigabytes of RAM. Stock Android 11 with no blowware that I could see. The main camera has a Sony 48 megapixel sensor, a 20 megapixel 9 vision camera with an infrared illuminator, and a thermal camera. It's rated IP68 and IP68K and has this massive speaker, which we'll get into in a minute. It's definitely meant for very, very cold weather since it offers one day of power under minus 27 Celsius, 10 hours of power under 30 Celsius, one hour under minus 40 Celsius. We'll get more into that in a minute. It has a 6,000 200 m hour battery which can be charged wirelessly and should last you almost two days with regular use it's got a large flashlight in the front not sure about the output but it seems pretty powerful now for most of these market phones 
it's the features, not the specs, that really set them apart from a mid-range phone in a rocket case. So let's run those for their paces and see if they really work as advertised. Okay, so in an emergency situation, this is how you record a looping announcement. Go into the sound record app. Hello? Hello, where are you? And then you can go to YouTube Music, find the sound, and then Hello. hit. Hello, where are you? So if you hit this button Hello. here, it will Hello, where are you? play it back again and again. But I don't want to turn the volume all the way up to Hello. Hello, bust are out your earphone. But it goes up very loud. Okay, so on my freezer, it is minus 18 centigrade right now. I'm going to put the AGM Gory Pro in the freezer and see what will happen to it. And I'm going to leave it in there for about an hour or two and then we will take it out and see what happens. Okay, let's try to turn it on. Okay, let's go to settings. It's, it's, it's the battery 92% left. It seems it seems fine even if it go down to uh, minus 18 centigrade. It doesn't seem to have any other issues. Let's try one more thing. Night vision mode. One more come. Good girl. And thermal camera. One more stay. Stay. Okay, let's take one more for her evening walk around the neighborhood. I don't normally use a retractable leash like this, but it lets one more get far enough ahead I can show you how the camera works. Don't worry, I'm being careful and she's very smart about cars and scooters. still has a fair number of street lights, but you can get the idea.
pros and cons. Cons. I'm not so sure about the separate flashlight in the front. More light is always good, but it looks a bit weird. I guess more regular use would give me an idea of how useful it is. Likewise, the loudspeaker is super useful for making looping announcements in a disaster situation for crowd control. But the final look means the phone isn't going to be winning any beauty contest. But you don't really buy rocky phones if you want a pretty phone anyway. Pros. It comes with the tools to fight a person or animal within 50 meters in practically any conditions. At a campsite, that could literally be the difference between a fun vacation and a very unpleasant encounter. As you can see, it has no trouble with a thick fur coat. Likewise, if you are looking for an injured animal, lost hiker, possibly pass out in the undergrowth from dehydration, this is going to find them day or night with no difficulty. In a disaster or search and rescue situation, the built-in loudspeaker is very loud and can play a looping announcement. So this phone has a very specific set of use cases, but within that range, I don't know of any integrated products that do it better. Final wording. In my mind, this is clearly an outdoor phone, not a shop or drop side phone. If you are doing high back, a thermal camera is always a killer feature. But the combination of thermal, night vision, extreme low temperature performance really make it clear this is for search and rescue. Outdoor sports like skiing, mountaineering, and camping. Particularly if you do any sort of outdoor activities with your pets or kids, this will keep tabs on them and let you find them in a hurry. Certainly, any kind of law enforcement or wildlife management would find the glory post features incredibly useful. But again, outside of high rack, not really a shop or general contractor's phone. I could see it making sense switching to this phone before a camping trip and leaving your flagship at home. It is heavy, which comes with the territory for all of the wacky phones of this type, but I'm assuming most of you have bigger pockets than I do here and won't have any problems. All right, that's the AGM Glory Pro. I like it as an outdoor phone and can certainly endorse it for the use cases I mentioned. If you are interested, I have a 